Welcome to the On Stage Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Robert. Okay, you ready, Nuno? Um, yes, I'm ready. All right, let's uh, do it. Let's do it. I'm I'm seeing a duplicate of my name uh, in front of the of, of the logo. Um, I don't know if it's possible to only put it when I'm talk when I'm talking. I know. I kind of. Um... Okay, there we go. All right, everyone. This is Nuno, and. Um, you're going to enjoy this. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Someday 
Perfect. What a great song to start the week, Nuno. Thank you very much for entertaining us with that. Okay, everyone, let us introduce to you Nuno. And as you all may know who he is, for those who don't, he's a Portuguese producer and YouTuber who began his career in 1991 when he was a guitarist and vocalist in several pop rock bands and he has two albums which i like to know about because one of them is called auto retrato and a second album called origami so we'll have to touch on that and um but yeah we were just saying that uh they were just saying that the sound wasn't really um i mean we could hear you but um it was okay we were, we're some... all here together so we were says, having some issues or yeah, something? I think it was with the sound, but it's okay. I mean, we heard it. Um, okay. I think we're good with it. So let's go back to the comments here. Um, Nuno, the boss. <laughs> here is our friend Tiny, a big yeah. friend, a big friend of the of the small room. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everyone certainly loves you. Like even. Uh, I love them. I love I love them the same way. Let me just put something here. Sure, no problem. 
Yeah, fortunately, this is a uh, yeah. They are they are all they are all around. Yeah, Adriano says um, Nino's amazing. It's always good to hear from him. He it's, rocks. It's really incredible uh, to know that um, that all my friends that that I that I was so fortunate uh, to meet during the the pandemic uh, when we created the small room. These are these all these guys, all these girls are each one of them is a brick that makes all these walls um and they are certainly the heart of uh the most part of this the things that i do around here at the small room it's because oh, yeah. of them i'll definitely be joining in the small one of the uh johnny says oh, yes yeah, johnny oh well <laughs> i <you> doing johnny <laughs> it's good to see you mate it's good, yeah. so good to see you it's so good you got so many. You people. and Johnny, uh, yeah. Johnny, uh, Dre from Brazil, and they are from around the world. It's it's incredible. It's really yeah. incredible. And um, I don't know what this says, but someone by the name of Lourdes says. That's ac that's actually my mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, mom. <laughs> that's my mom. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. She's so speaking Portuguese. Thank she you does. very much for. Yeah, she uh, said she's saying good evening. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to learn that. Yeah. So, so Chris, good evening. Good evening to you. Thank you so much uh, for for this invitation. Uh, it's a great honor uh, and a privilege being here, uh, talking a little bit about what I do. It's uh, yeah. it's great. Great to be here. Well, thank you very much for joining us on the stage. You're welcome. I was doing a little research on Take It Back, and it's um. From a 1994 album that division bell yeah yeah and it was actually lyrics were written by gilmore and his wife polly yeah polly sampson yeah great yeah. A, a great a great writer a great uh, a great uh, he writes a lot a lot of books he's uh and he writes also um, a lot of lyrics to to gilmore so uh yeah it's one of my biggest inspirations and and by the fact is one of my favorite uh, Pink Floyd albums, uh, uh, Division, Division Bell from 1994. Yeah, um, that's that. Yeah, and it's a song about Mother Earth. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, and I can understand. Like you know, take it back, take back Mother yeah. Earth. You know, there's a lot of, uh, in my opinion, on my opinion, it's uh, it's one of the best accomplished albums uh, in in terms of. Uh, of the technical stuff because we we cannot forget that that, that we were in 1994 um and that's if you hear that album on a good pair of speakers you will see all the layers that that's beneath so it's uh it's a wonderful album. yep and your mother says something else <clears throat> your yeah you. it's my sister is there it's, it's she is called bb she's one of the of the of the greatest supporters of the uh, of the small room too. Yeah, this is a this is not a this is a big community, but this is more than that. This is this has become a a family, a supportive family, and uh, and sometimes we we talk to each other, we we like real friends do, but uh, unfortunately we don't know each other from nowhere else. So yeah, it's but it's in. But we feel, we f I feel the love uh, that's coming uh, uh, through the wires of the internet. <laughs> yeah, it's excellent, and um, you got quite a quite a lot of people there. I'm thinking I'm going to join you on the, uh, the the small room every so often now. Just watch it, and I kind of didn't realize you had just much like a lot of community. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm 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 a very lucky guy. Um, oh yeah, and there's no words. They they know that because we we have been through a lot uh, through these two years that started in uh, right after the pandemic started, um, and I felt that I that I needed to 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 keep on doing stuff uh, music related. So I I started to to search online and. And after I published the video, I only had a few of them on my YouTube channel. And um, 
I received an email uh, inviting me to, to join a, a, a new, brand new uh, uh, music platform. And so I did it. I, I never looked back and, and, and I was there with, with my two feet and, uh, and with all my heart. And uh, man, it was amazing to see. It was uh, that, 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 uh, that platform was called Sessions. And it was amazing, uh, an amazing time because I met a lot of uh, friends, musician friends. And um, slowly that community that I am so proud of, uh, it started to, to build up bit by bit, friend by friend, till it became what it is today. Uh, we are, this is, a, this is really, really incredible uh, to feel what, all these people uh, did for me. Um, they they sometimes do uh, say the same that I that I that I with my music. Um, they they like they were stuck at home like me, and but they felt amused uh, and enter entertained with 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 my job, and. All I tried was was to give them the best of me, and in tr uh, the trade was that I got the best of them, of each and every one of them. That's that's really the the best that I could have in in return. It's all their love. Did you want to play that second song, Wrecked, or did you want to wait till the end? Man. When you when you feel that I that I that I should do it, okay, uh, I can well, do let's, it. Let's find out a little bit about your backstory. Can you give give us a little bit of backstory for who people out there to know who you are? So I I started with my I was like fourteen years uh, old. So it's uh, thirty years, thirty years ago. Um, I started I started playing guitar and. And at the same year, I, I met some friends and we joined it as a band and we started gigging. And, uh, and man, after, after like two, three years of, of gigging on the, on the pubs and, and, and uh, using that old stuff that, that, we, that we remember for, from the 90s, uh, those heavy speakers and without knowing everything uh, tech related tech related uh we managed to to uh to do some stuff some originals too and uh my first my first thing as a as a solo artist was in 2002 when i uh, but but right, right before it i saw that my, all my colleagues uh they were joining the army and uh, the and another one just got married and another one quit music. So, but I had such a great love for music, and I was actually the first, the first one on my on my family, first musician. Um, but I felt um, like I want to do something else. I want to do something more. And in 2002, so I started to to uh, to build my own songs. Um, and I released uh, my first album called Out of Drat. Um And then a lot of years after, after a lot of gigs, uh, because there is something that I love, absolutely love, more than uh, doing records. And, and of course, I love songwriting, but the being with, in, on stage uh, with, with real people, and seeing their 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 faces and their looks to what I play and what I sing is really my where I feel okay. So I spent all the all those years uh, doing a lot of a lot of concerts, and then in two, on 2017 I I did a, an EP. With with five with with five songs, there is actually one song that I will play at the end, and, uh, and yeah, then all this came up, and I I became a new a new guy again, 
Uh, I had to reinvent myself. Uh, I bought some cameras. Um, and I started my YouTube channel because the pubs were, were closed. Uh, there were no concerts, so I had to do something. And again, I thought in my mind, I had to care. I have to carry on. And yeah, man, bit after bit, uh, the small room was created. Uh, all the tech side was, uh, was, uh, mounted. So, um, and then the, the amazing people came after. So, uh, and here we are. Yeah. You got a lot of people just, this chat is just blowing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. So that's good. And you've been playing the guitar for quite a while too. Um, it's something you might've picked up when you were younger as well. I think, um, when you first started, you were young Portuguese boy, I guess. And yeah. what made you want to learn the guitar and sing? Was it was, it was really, uh, my first inspiration and my biggest one was David Gilmour. And I actually had, a, a lot before the CDs and, uh, the Blu-rays and, and stuff on internet and before YouTube before internet actually uh uh but and and my father uh, always had a, a a big love for 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 music uh with his radio and his uh, cassette player and i always I, I i grew up with that i grew with i grew up with that education and I remember that one of the first uh, albums that I heard was that one, uh, Division Bell album by Pink Floyd. And I was stunned and I thought to myself, okay, I have to learn everything this guy does. At least uh, I will try to, to do some things that he does. And after so many years, I feel that... His inspiration is is here in the way I play. I'm not a big guitar player. I recognize that, uh, but I'm a, like I used to say. I'm a I'm a little square, and I don't get out of that square. So I prefer to to play by safe and uh, do uh, do easy stuff, but th that are that are uh, uh, good to the ear. Uh, and that's that's the that's the biggest part of my musicality is that I think it's that it's uh, created creating things and tr replicating things that sound good that are harmonic that are uh, melodic that's that's my I'm not a shredder so it's uh, I am what I am so <laughs> does it take you long to learn a song like what was the first song you learned on the guitar. We actually had, when, when we had the band, uh, we actually had like a, like a Pink Floyd tribu tribute. And uh, I had a Fender Stratocaster that my mom and my dad offered me when I, when I was like 16 or something on my, on my birthday. Uh, it was my actually, my, actually my first guitar was, uh, a guitar like David Gilmour had, the Fender Stratocaster Red, was that. And I learned alone without classes. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't actually seen someone who didn't have glasses that couldn't actually see without them play the guitar, but, um, you know, but yeah, I, I think that there, that's something that doesn't make a musician what he is. At least I never had any, I, I don't know how to read a score. Um, and uh, I just had some, some singing lessons a few years ago. I have the basics. Um, I never had guitar classes. So it's, uh, it's all by ear. It's all by intuition. And uh, yeah, I think it's the, if we, if we feel that we are doing correct stuff, if it's not annoying to the ears, so it's, it's a good sign that we are doing something right. Yeah, you're very good. When I first discovered oh, you on YouTube, I was just... You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you. Wow, so that, that guy. Oh, wow. Look, 
And then you played uh, a few good covers, which I like. And I was going through the whole entire um, of your songs. And I'm like, wow, this guy does just loop covers. Can you explain what a loop, what, what exactly is yeah, that? Yeah, man, I, I can actually put it, um, put it here. Uh, it's, this, uh, it's this angle here. So you see a lot of buttons. Um, but this is basically, uh, this is live looping. And in Portuguese, we don't actually have a translation to, to the word live looping. Mm -hmm. um, it's a word that, that we use uh, uh, in English. So live looping. But um, in fact, it's just uh, grabbing a small portion of, uh, of, a percussion, of a percussive part of the song, which I do everything with my guitar. Uh, because the guitar is a, uh, it's only uh, an instrument with six strings, but I try to get the best out of it. Um, and this guitar has an incredible pickup and an and a internal microphone, so I can do my my voiceovers, uh, my 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 backing vocals uh, right to to the whole of the of the guitar, and and uh, recorded um, bit by bit i take a, like a loop it's it's a small portion of the song that i can use to blend with the with the verse or blend with the, with the chorus later and um, it was it was actually very hard to to uh, to I, I i don't want to use the word master because i'm i'm no master but, but I can look back and I and I remember very good how I was with the first uh, with the first looper that I had. It was it was just one track. This one has six six tracks. Although I only use uh, four four tracks, uh, it's more than enough for for what I use. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I well, just I just normally normally my all my songs have a have a they have a structure uh, that, I, that I, sorry, it's not this one. I normally, on, with the first two buttons on, on your right, the, uh, the record and play button for the track one, mm -hmm. and the, the second and the third is the, the record and play for the, the second one, and the other two are the third one, and the two on the top are for the fourth one. There is a start and stop, on, and stop button, so this is a, a, a more advanced uh, unit uh, that I I had um, RC three hundred before this one, but this one has more effects and and gives more a little bit more. Um, it's more it's faster than 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 the other one. It'll and and it's a little bit more reliable too. Yeah, I notice that you actually play pubs, small venues, and opening concerts. Yeah. It says sometimes like do you still have that band of yours or yeah sometimes i sometimes i do gigs with the band um but it's a complete uh it's a complete different thing from what i do uh, oh, okay. on live looping yeah it's uh it's another identity because uh, all we do uh, when we go live with the band it's only to present our originals uh the the, the songs that i write so I have like uh, 15 songs. It's uh, we we can make a concert of a two-hour concert uh, with with, uh, with video and that stuff. It's kind of cool sometimes. Unfortunately, it's not it's not um, after after this bad time that that we all we all got uh, we stopped and and the returning to the market was a little bit harsh. Um, and I realized that this machine that I, that I had alone was running so good. It was very, very easy to, to get back to the road again. And, um, without, without uh, having too much trouble, you know, it's, uh, it, it was very, very, very easy to, to get back instead of being rehearsing with a band. And uh, and uh, breaking my head with 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 stuff because it it, it it takes a lot of work 
to put a to put a seven member band running in just a couple of months. So I I started this new season all by myself and it's it's running pretty good. Yeah, so you prefer to be a solo guitarist instead of playing for a band? Do you, do you can you compare the two? <clears throat> it's like it's like asking me if I if I like uh, a red wine or a white wine. I <laughs> I like both. <laughs> I like water too. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm drinking now. So it's a very ambiguous uh, question because I really love the the power uh, of a of a band when a, when we are on stage and the feeling uh, between us. That's that's really something different that I don't have uh, when I'm alone. Uh, but being alone so so much time, it creates some kind of. Um, Every time that I have to think on going out to the, with a band, I know that I have to be worry, worried with uh, somebody else's work, with the, with the keyboard player wor uh, work, uh, the bass player work. And I shouldn't because they are professionals. They, they are much better than me. Uh, but I am like that. I am, I am a very focused and worried guy. But I think I was uh, a little bit uh, worse than I, than I than what I am today. So I'm pretty more relaxed. Well, I agree with you, Anna, when you said that Nuno has an incredible voice. He breathes music. How do you feel uh, about that, Nuno? Thank What's you. That? Thank you so much, Anna Paula. This is a Portuguese friend too. Uh, uh, by the fact, uh, as a matter of fact, in a couple of weeks, I will be I will be uh, in Agueda. Uh, it's a it's a beautiful town in the in the middle of Portugal. Uh, it's an hour and a half uh, from where I live, and I will be performing live too. Uh, it's a solo gig. Um, but uh, man, I'm I must be honest. I'm <laughs> I don't know where those people uh, get get. It's it's their own opinion, I know, but. Um, I have that uh, that problem. I don't know if it if it happens with you because you are a singer too, and man, I don't like to hear myself. I don't like to hear my voice. But it's I I feel humbly honored that 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 people that people like the thing that I do, and and it's amazing to see that they take their time to to stick around with me and and. Every time we open the windows and the doors of the small room, everybody gets in and everybody gets a good time. So, man, um, it's I'm here because of them. They are they are here because of of the community and because of me. And that's that's so beautiful. That's that's the best I can have. Yeah, when you're thinking about how you know you don't like to hear yourself, I remember back in the day. We had audio tapes, and you have a tape recorder, and you oh, yeah. <laughs> you sound like this when you say something. Hey, how are you doing? And when you play it back, hi, how are you doing? So yeah. it's totally different because is that how I sound to people? I thought I sounded like this, but I sound yeah. like this. And so when I sing, they say, like, don't sing like somebody else. Sing as yourself. And sometimes it's like I'll try to sing myself, but it's – it's you know I, I try my best like that's why I take vocal lessons and try to get the mid tone, the mid range. Yeah. Uh, Tiny says your voice kept the loneliness of lockdown away. Wow, that's oh. wow, that's humbling. <laughs> what a great comment. Thank you so much, dear Tiny. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiny. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're too kind, Tiny. Yeah. It's it's the the little one, yeah. our little one. And Amanda B says truth, yeah. Tiny. Thank you so much, dear Amanda. Good to Hi. see you. Yeah. So good yeah, I agree you. with that. And um, yeah, I like your voice. Like when I heard your version of Wrecked, I was like, yeah, this is a song I like. But that version of Wrecked was actually um, that was written by uh, Dan Reynolds, who was uh, yeah. is releasing Imagine Dragons, and he wrote it for his sister-in-law Alicia Dershey, who died of cancer. So, and she was always there for him, even sending him supportive letters despite he was ill and then despite losing his own wife. And when you listen to it and watch it, you know, you have to feel something because you go through it. And people who go through it would feel 
that song differently than someone who a lot of people are opening covers. And if they look at the history, it is a totally different feeling than what does wreck mean? Like, and then when you read about it, it's like, oh, it's because he lost yeah. a loved one, you know? Um, yeah, man. I, although I, I didn't, uh, fortunately, I, I didn't, I didn't lost anyone. Um, <clears throat> but, he, but at the small room, everybody knows, uh, uh, that that I was I was not having a, a good time, and actually that song uh, meant a lot when I was when I was not uh, uh, okay, and um, and I felt every word uh, because each song for each one of us has a different meaning, uh, and we we can we can read different stuff. Uh, but everything, every line on on that song, um, like I I could identify myself a lot with with every with everything, because I somewhat lost uh, a little bit of me too uh, during those times. Uh, fortunately, it's it's past, and, and and I'm smiling again. Yeah, so, we're all smiling and, again, but. Yeah. There's still the threat there, but now it's more open to be able to live free. Yeah. And, um, and during the pandemic, it was it was pretty difficult as well. Yeah, but, it, uh, it's it, it's not it's not um, I, a lot of people a lot of people deal with those kind of stuff, mental illness, and sometimes they have they have some worries on talking about it, and but sometimes. Talking about it, I used wrecked as a an, as an escape, and sometimes, sometimes no. Every time, uh, talking is the best ex escape we can have uh, for uh, to release our our monsters, and 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 uh, and and start to to find our road to recovery. It's it's talking to our friends, and 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 I was very fortunate to to. Uh, to feel myself better uh, through music with with this inc incredible community, and um, when Wrecked uh, came out, uh, I did a cover like three days after uh, it went out, and uh, I just put it on YouTube, and then fortunately it came the the Wrecked contest that uh, that I was so fortunate to 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 win. And that was, I, I didn't do, I was, I wasn't counting on anything. It was, it was just a song that I had uh, uploaded on YouTube. I just had to send it to, to Imagine Dragons uh, organization and voila, <laughs> magic yeah. happened. Yeah. That's amazing. Did you want to give us a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> you want to play that song for us? Yeah, of course. Um, I will play Wrecked for you. Um, and uh, then I will play a song. Uh, I think you, Chris, you have the information that I was about to play another song, but I changed my mind uh, about the second one uh, because it's a song that uh, that means a lot to me. It, it, it was one of the first songs that I played uh, at the small room when, when uh, the lockdown started. And it's a song by you two called Sometimes You Can Make It On Your Own. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you can't make it on your own. It's okay. it's with the help with your family. It's with the help with your friends that, that you get there. So uh, that's why I want to play that second song sure. and that, that particular song. So first one to all of you, it's Wrecked by Imagine Dragons. Give me just a couple so of which seconds. One, so you're playing which one now? Uh, it's record, and you're gonna play that other one as well that you mentioned, the YouTube one. Or yeah, I can play the the two in a row. If you'd like, it's up to you. You know, I appreciate it, but you're you're amazing, and we all want to hear that voice, right, everyone? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so Thanks. I'm going to let you go here, and then you just uh, you can share a little bit more. But I'm going to remove myself because I know it's better okay. that you just do your own thing. There you go. Okay.
Okay, so here I am again. I find myself in conversation fading away The way you smile, the way you walk The time you took to teach me all that you had taught Tell me how am I supposed to move on These days I'm becoming everything that I hate Wish you were around but now it's too late My mind is a place I can't escape your ghost Sometimes I wish that I could wish it all away hey, One more rainy day without you Sometimes I wish that I could see you one more day Say that the time will heal and the pain won't go away But everything that reminds me of you and it comes in waves The way you laugh and the shoulder shook The time it took to teach me all that you had taught Tell me how am I supposed to move on These days I'm becoming everything that I hate Wishing you were around but now it's too late My mind is a place I can't escape Sometimes I wish that I could wish it all away One more rainy day without you Sometimes I wish that I could see you one more day One more rainy day Oh, I'm a wreck without you here Yeah, I'm a wreck since you've been So behind me, I think I was right all alone. These days, I'm on the brink of the edge. Remember the words that you said. Remember the life you led. You say, oh, suck it all up. Don't get stuck in the mud. Thinking of things that you should have done. I'll see you again, my love, Lord.
sometimes I wish that I could wish it all away. Hey, one more rainy day without you. Sometimes I wish that I could see you one more day. Hey, one more rainy day. This was wrecked. So uh, I will play in a row uh, that song that that I told you a few minutes ago. That it's a song by U2 called "Sometimes You Can't Make It on Your Own." And because of because of the meaning. Uh, it's a uh, it's a song that I will be dedicating with with all my heart, with uh, with all my soul to my dear friends, my family here at the small room. This is for all of you. Thank you so very much. Much love. Much love to all of you. Alright, 
with the same soul I don't need Yes, I don't need to hear you say If you weren't so alive You'd like me a whole lot more Listen to me now I need to let you know You don't have to go in alone And it's you and I look in the mirror And it's you Sometimes you can't make it on your own Yes, yes, yes I'm the burrito talk I'm sick of it all Can you hear me? Sometimes you can't make it on your own Sometimes you can't make it The best you can do is to fake it Sometimes you can't make it Thank you so very much. Wow, that's you're so passionate about music. What makes you to you know? Let me just talk about that rec version. Very emotional the way you sang it. It's just absolutely incredible. So um, give me just a second, sure, uh, Chris, just to everyone are clapping. See, Katrina's clapping. Daniel's clapping. <laughs> Beautiful Christina's family. clapping. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, I will kind of post your comments so that Nuno can read them because, you know, it's just such a such an amazing voice. Sorry. Sorry. Sure. So here, here I am again. Yeah. So Katrina was clapping. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my sister. Tiny was clapping. Um, Daniel was clapping. Yeah. That's and a, it's, it's like a brother of mine. Amanda's credible, you know. 
Thank you so much, dear Amanda. Thank you yeah. all. Thank you all. So what makes so what makes YouTube? What does that make you very passionate to decide to play? You guys make it on your own. Why not? Um, <laughs> you really have to pull something else out uh, of you, at least on on my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, we have to get out. To let uh, other stuff getting out uh, instead of only uh, chords and, and and smiley faces, and we have to feel each word. And when we do that, when he, when we get into uh, to other guys' songs like YouTube songs, like Imagine Dragon songs, I don't want to be um, I don't want to be like. Uh, mean but it's like it's like those songs became mine too i don't know if you if you if you know what i mean it's like uh it's like <laughs> on my own way stealing a little bit those songs because uh, i felt i feel every word uh, i at least it's 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 the way they get out it's uh and it's i think it's the best way at least when i when i go to see a concert i like to see the, uh, that kind of commitment and uh and we feel not only the music but we feel also the power that comes uh, through the emotions of the artist so it's i agree because adriana says that this feels so good for a few moments to do us forget about everything and just immerse ourselves in the music yeah yeah, yeah. i totally agree yeah, Adriana <laughs> um, from Brazil. Brazil, wow. Brazil, yeah. Uh, are, are you like around Samagal in Portugal? Sorry, Sorry? Samagal. I think it's called Samagal. Samagal, Portuguese, Portugal. Summer. Samagal. Samagal. I can't. I don't think I'm. My Sam friend's gonna really get mad at me for not pronouncing it properly. I Sam cannot. I cannot get that one. It's 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 a place. Samagal. Yeah, Samagal, Portugal. I, São Miguel. São Miguel, that's it. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's an island in in Azores. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's one of well, the islands. That's awesome. So, when you actually decide to play a song, you know, a cover, do you have to think, why am I playing this? How do I display the emotion of this song? How do I play it better than the original? Or do you just say, I want to learn this song? It takes you maybe a few days, or whatever, to learn it, and you just play it. How does that work for you? Normally, th there are a few songs that I that I try to replicate the, the the structure of the song, but of course uh, I want to take uh, I want to take them as mine. So I put uh, the best of what I do um, because um, from one point of view, I don't want that my viewers get bored because. With, with this kind of uh, approach, uh, the, when we are live looping, um, sometimes we, we, we do the mistake of being too extensive the way we do the, 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 the loops. And I think that should be more organic and uh, because the most part of the people, actually, they don't know what you are doing. So if you are just inside of yourself and, and gigging with yourself and looping with yourself, uh, I think it's, it gets a little bit boring. So I try to reduce the amount of time that I, that I, which I, which I use for each, each uh, portion of the song, each portion of the drums, each portion of, the, of an arpeggio to use on the, on the, on the chorus. Uh, the the least amount of time that I that I can take it's it's what I take, uh, but I always try to build up um, some some new or some different uh, atmosphere uh, that I feel okay with with it. So it's uh, and it's 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 very very hard to to sound like the original song only with a guitar even knowing uh that i am live looping so it's it's my way of working and and i am very happy that 
I have a lot of people that, that they enjoy what I, what I do. So it's, it's a very good sign. Yeah, Amanda says that you have a de- way of delivering the message and passion of a song that reaches all of us. Yeah, and that I means that, that's the meaning. She's correct. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you. It's very humbling to get these uh, comments, huh? It makes makes you want to even play. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't I don't deserve a half, <laughs> but it's uh, I'm very humble and honored with with such words and. Uh, we promised. We promised that uh, there will be one day that we will embrace all together, uh, live. So that day will come. Yeah, together know, like live. In fact, just so you know, I'll probably be in the summer. Next summer, I think I'm going to be going to Curacao to commemorate my dad's hundredth birthday if he was around. So my friend wants to go with me, my Portuguese friend, and he wants to go to Portugal. I'm like, hey, let's visit Nuno. <laughs> of course, I invite everyone who, who yeah. comes here, who comes by. Man, you Chinese have the, the you social deserve. media, and it's just you just have to to ring the bell and say, I will be in Portugal. And for example, I give you an, exa- an example. This this will be something something new there are a few people here at the moment uh and uh, uh, listening and seeing this podcast that doesn't know there is a a very special friend that i would like to mention that it's my my dear brother uh bacalao uh bacalao is just uh, a portuguese name uh for that means codfish um oh. and and codfish was something that i that i that i that i called to a guitar because it has a shape of a of a of a dried codfish so but it's just for joke just for fun and uh, uh when we were on sessions i i started to to call to call his guitar the bacalao mm. and a few months after we 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 lost our real names and we and we started to to call each other bacalao and by the way fernando Euphret is his real name he will be in london uh next june and i will meet him i will meet him in person that's something that uh we both uh wanted to do uh and uh i think it will not be only me and Fernando. There's more to come. Yeah, you should get on a ship with people that play the guitar and drums and just have a full band on one no, ship. N- no, that that's not the what I <laughs> what I would like is just no music. Music is uh, is uh, is yeah. out of of the equation. Uh, it's just to have the privilege of meeting uh, at least some of the people that that I uh, that I was so happy and proud to have around uh, on the small room that live uh, in UK. I will try to reach them all. Yeah, Tiny, mm-hmm. prepare yourself for a visit. <laughs> tiny Tiny, and Johnny and, and Fernando Euphred and James. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of people who are watching this right now. And, I'm, and uh, Juris... Slav says, "I know how to build a cruise ship." <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Yaroslav, it, it, this this is uh, this is probably one of the. Are, I, how are you doing, Yarek? This is a uh, this is a friend uh, from Portugal that is uh, he is Polish mm-hmm. uh, from Poland and um, and I met him uh, before the pandemic on the live shows and. Uh, it was really a pleasure meeting this guy because he was a, a Pink Floyd aficionado, mm-hmm. and uh, and he's a very nice guy. And uh, then I knew his family in, in person, and after that he came to the small room too. So uh, it's a privilege, real a real privilege to know that people come from the real world to yeah. the virtual world. And uh, and I will be very happy to do the opposite to 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 get out of the virtual and meet those uh, people in the real world. It will be, be awesome. awesome. It will be 
amazing yeah yeah one day at a time you know i guess yeah so. yeah one day at a time it's my yeah. way of living and, and i'm pretty us, good can you tell us what the highlight of your career as a guitarist is so far sorry what's the highlight of the your career so far as a guitarist man this is uh i i see my music life as a as an avenue as a journey uh that that doesn't lead to anywhere um even if I, even if I, I was the winner of a, of a worldwide thing, but that that doesn't, that, that didn't change anything on my life. So it was a very good thing. I was very happy. Uh, I earned uh, some money with it, uh, but uh, I feel that everything in, in our lives is just. We have to enjoy every minute and every day, and that's part of the journey. It's enjoying every single minute, every song that I play, every everything. Enjoying the family. That's all part of the path. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't see that, and and I don't, I don't see my career with uh, with ups and downs. It's just, it's just a, a path. It's just a just a way. Just uh, today is like this. Tomorrow, uh, better things may come, but uh, the day after, uh, I could, I, I probably will not be so lucky. So it's it's a matter of uh, embracing everything as a as a good thing. Yeah, it's amazing how an instrument like a guitar can bring people together. I mean, you probably could do that if you we were just singing, but singing and playing a guitar, that's like, um, Anna said that um, there are people who are born blessed and with their own light and your shine is in your voice. Thank you so much, Anna Paula. Thank you so yeah. much. These yeah. people are, these yeah. people are amazing, man. Yeah. Um, um, I started. I started as a, only as a baking vocal when I when I when I had my first band and, and as a guitar player. Uh, I was I was the second guitar player. I was I was never on a on the spot. So uh, I was I was always the second. But um, and I, I I was I was the lead vocalist by accident because. Uh, I did I did some some baking vocals and one day the the lead the lead singer uh, went out of the band so um, I knew every song and we didn't have time to be plans so I I started and I sticked around so uh, it's it was Why a little bit of luck yeah. Why did you wait 10 years before between each album, Aldo Retrato, and then 10 years later, Origami? I actually um, went uh, through, uh, through um, the songwriter's block mm. that you know so well. I, I think that you know it. And, uh, and I'm getting through it uh, again. So... But I'm fighting it, and every day I try to write some words, some random words. It's a way to, it's a good way to to fight the the writer's block. So, um, but uh, but I actually did um, a song uh, a couple of months ago. I didn't release it yet, but um, the the only reason was was only that uh, I I I was so happy with the result uh, of the the first album and um it was all done uh every every piece of the music the the pianos the the drumming the drumming uh programming uh was all here at the studio i just recorded the the all the parts on a new studio out of here uh but um the second one the second album as a as a different quality, as a different approach, because I was like 10 years older and, and with 10 years of uh, music uh, inside of me. So 
But the main reason was that one, because sometimes I felt hard to to write something, and writing in Portuguese is actually very very complicated to do because wow. it's yeah in English and and forgive me um, what I'm about to say, but in English everything sounds good, even even if you don't, even if you are saying uh, things without any 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 connection everything feel, everything sounds good uh of course if you try to to feel the lyrics uh you get the message but it doesn't sound bad but in portuguese it really sounds it's you have to choose the right the right words to to for a rhyme or if you want to say something you have to choose a very a very poetic and musical way to do it because it's a total disaster if you just let it out as you speak you know it's it's uh it's a drama it's interesting you should say that you know because there's a, a youtube uh she's on uh she takes the wellerman song there once of the ship cook to see the name of the ship was a bully and she's ukrainian and she actually translated it in Ukrainian, and it sounds better than the English version, which I'm kind of, because I heard a lot of French songs, and I noticed that a lot of words um, rhyme with the next lyrics, but it's all French. But when you translate yeah. it in English, not only does it not rhyme, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, the song yeah. itself is beautiful in French, whatever language, but the English version is not, doesn't have that kick. Yeah, I know what I'm. I know you, what you mean, and and I have I have the same opinion about. Uh, n for example, I don't I don't like to hear at least my ears don't. Uh, the French the French language and and forgive me all the French, uh, but uh, it's kind of I don't know it's it's kind of uh, confusing for my head hearing the French and and German it's also difficult because I don't understand anything they say so uh, but there is one language that I particularly like uh, to hear music uh, uh, for me it's one of the prettiest languages of the world that it's Italian yes I absolutely love Italian songs and the way they do it it's spot on but it's we have we share the same DNA because we are Latin, but on this on this side, it's 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 a little bit more hard to do stuff. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Um, we don't have Italian in our DNA, but we do have a lot of uh, Slovak and German, and basically, I sing German. And uh, sometimes I don't want to be proud or anything, but sometimes when I sing in german people are saying you sound you actually sound better german than me <laughs> you know and it's like Man. really that's humbling like to yeah, say that... I, I sing the song better in german than they do and they're german man um, sometimes it, it happens it happens also with me and with 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 uh, the the small room community uh because sometimes they say uh, at least those ones that doesn't understand portuguese Every time that I play an original song, they kind of say that that they kind of get the meaning only through the expression, and and they say that that they like to hear uh, the 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 articulation of the Portuguese, but they don't understand. So, uh, but that doesn't happen with me with the languages that that I don't know, because I normally. And I think most of the people are like that. They like to hear the music, but understand the meaning, uh, the meaning of the song. So um, I always try to, and I always did it uh, to 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 the small room family. Every time I play the song, I always try to to uh, say what's what that song talks about, uh, just to people get to know a little bit more and try to feel it uh, at least a little bit as I do. 
Yeah, I sing a lot of German, like I do uh, I do the song, The Prayer. But you have to be really precise with your Italian language. You have to the rolling R's. And I don't know if you have a Mount Everest song. That's a song that's hard to reach. It's a hard, no. hard song to do. Mine is Nessun Dorma. That's a difficult song to do. And uh, I'm... Oh, <laughs> better oh you... You were asking if there is a song uh, hard to do. It, it was a, the question. Yeah, it's a song hard to do for me. Is uh, Nessun Dorma. Nessun Dorma. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a that's that's a hard one. It is. At, at least at least I, I cannot I cannot give you a, a single note of it. <laughs> I could, but <laughs> it's no. better it's better not opening my mouth singing opera. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have some sometimes. And I, I'm, I do it all the time. There are, that I have a lot of songs that are in, in very high keys, and one of my, one of, one of my uh, rules of thumb is just tr always put the song on my register, even if I have to lower the pitch one or two uh, steps. It's not a big deal because the the arrangement will be different. Um, and um, I always do it uh, very often. It's uh, so I don't have a very high pitch song that I that I have to like uh, belting myself to get the, that high note. Uh, I always get it uh, very comfortable. Um, of course, the, the the higher that I can to mimic the the try to get the same feeling as the original. Uh, and that means not lowering more than two steps because it gets it gets a little bit different if I if I if I exaggerate. So yeah, you seem to be like a little frozen there, but I'm sure it'll correct itself hopefully. Oh, there you go. Um, yes, so that that's exactly right. That there's a a Bee Gees tribute band called Night Fever, and they sound yeah. just like the Bee Gees. And I heard. I don't know if you're familiar with the um, the artist named Feist, and she sang her yeah she sang her own rendition of "Love You Inside yeah. Out" by Bee Gees. Yeah, it's not bad, but you know, there's some songs you just like. For me, I've learned what you just said to not sound like somebody else, yeah, but uh, just sound like find your voice and sing your own version of it. And let's see now that's um. Amanda says your Portuguese songs are often on repeat. Doesn't matter that I can't understand all of them. I agree. Same with Italian. I don't understand Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amanda. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's we're, great. we're gonna do a Portuguese song at the end. So yes. Yeah. yes, that's right. You um, what's the song called? Is it called uh, someone said Cavallo de Pedra? Yeah, it's one of the songs that people like the most. Um, like Christina? Yeah, like Christina is saying the song Cavallo de Pedra. She wants to hear it. Thank, we'll you, thank you very much, Christina. Thank you so much. So did you uh, did you want to do that as a closing song? And um, we can come up with some question. Anybody out there amongst the chat or who's watching want to come up with some questions for Nuno that he can answer? And then we'll get that. Here's some questions for you. Um, somebody wants to know what songs are you practicing and why? Uh, right now, I must be honest. I I'm only playing the songs that I that I have on my repertoire because the new season of concerts is coming, and I fortunately I have uh, I I will have a very busy uh, a very busy uh, what's the word? Help me, Chris. Schedule. 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 That's the word. Thank you so much. Very busy schedule. That it's a very good thing. I was hoping for for this to open up, and 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 uh, that's why that's why uh, <coughs> that's why I'm not very very as I was uh, a few months ago on on YouTube every week because right now I'm preparing uh, other stuff. Um, uh, concert related, and and that's that's um, yeah, that's a process that that I that I have to care about, and um, I like to do one thing at a time. Uh, I don't want to be with 
too much things to do uh, uh, at one time because it gets too confusing and uh, and that's the way I like to do it. So one thing at a time. Right now I'm 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 on the the, con the live concerts uh, mood, but I but I must confess that I never forget what what happened and still happening uh, here with all of you. So it's well. Tiny says that yeah. we do miss you on YouTube, though. Yeah, Tiny. Yeah, and I I miss YouTube too. It's it's that feeling of getting on Saturday and yeah, yeah here is uh, here are our people. Let, let's let's hang out. Let's let's chat. Let's uh, let's know. laugh. Let's <laughs> be, because it was it was like that like one year and a half in a row, man. Every Saturday we were on that meeting and that, that was like a, a religious thing. And, and I miss that, I miss that so much. But uh, my feeling is that I, that I should do one thing at a time. And, and, and that's, that's the way it, it, it has to be. I have to be focused on, on this new, on this new uh, moment that it's summer uh it's not it's not already summer but uh, the concerts are starting to to come and um and i did uh, a few days ago a photo shoot and and uh and i did something to the tv too that will be a surprise for all the people uh nearly on near on a, in a near future wow so all those stuff, all that stuff, it takes time to, and it takes commitment, and, and it takes, it takes me out of the places that I that I probably should be. And YouTube and the small room is one of them. Yeah. But I, but I, I will be back, and I, I'm always here. You know that I'm all, that I am always here. So. Uh, well, Anna says that she can't wait to hear. Coming back to life by David huh. Gilmore. Is that not coming back to life by Evanescence? I guess not. <laughs> no, it's coming. But coming back to life is one of the songs that that are part of the album uh, Division Bell Two. It's uh, I think it's the sixth for the, the sixth song. It's coming back to life. I actually played that song when I when I had the band. Wow. Um, and uh, but I never did it alone. So. Probably it will be one of the one of the next ones. Yes, because uh, Tiny says from the small room to the world. From the small room to the world. <laughs> Thank you so awesome. much, dear Tiny. That's awesome. Um, Tiny, Tiny is Tiny is one of the right right hands here on the on the small room. Um, oh, that's good. Is one of the musketeers. It's Tiny Dree, uh, Sister BB. They are. And Amanda too. They are. It's a. I don't have words to express how much how much thankful I am to to all all those people that. Yeah. That, the, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, is that whenever I find these wonderful YouTube artists like you, and I'm like a year and a half late because they just started on YouTube because of the pandemic, and then I'm not saying it's over. I'm just saying that now that we're in a nice, safe kind of part. You discover these and you're like oh when is it going to do like a live session whatever you find out oh i don't do those i last one i did was a year ago or something and i'm like oh i'm always late i was uh -huh. telling people i got i think i was um late for a lot of things in my life as long as i don't die late that would be nice. <laughs> i always worry i i always worry the worry with uh with that because mm -hmm. i feel that i that i should should be on more often but mm -hmm. uh and at least I try. I try sometimes um, to to okay. Today I will be on because because I miss people and and I'm sure they miss me too. So let's give a little bit of uh, not only music but the the company of each other. That's that's the the community the, the community side of the of the of the live stream. It's it's uh it's unbelievable. It's. It's incredible how they, how people that they, that don't don't know from in person uh, how they relate, and it, that's incredible. 
Yeah. So I should be more and 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 I will be I will be on soon. I promise you. Yeah, this person's interesting with their question. Do you keep running away from discomfort or do you embrace and love your fear? Can you repeat that again? Do you keep running do you run away from discomfort or do you embrace and love your fear? I don't know what kind of question that is. I I tend to to run away from the fear and oh. yeah. Um but um but sometimes we get stuck and we got to keep on moving. It's like a it's like a car in the mud. Sometimes you you keep you keep uh you keep hitting the 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 gas and you don't don't get out of the place. So it's 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 uh my life is a little bit like that. Sometimes we get stuck, but we got to keep on moving and and because the uh, the rain will pass and the mud will disappear and finally the car will will get traction uh, and I totally agree uh, I totally agree Amanda so happy you're back out there performing don't worry about us we will always be there yes definitely Amanda thank yes, you yes you were thank you so much Amanda <laughs> um yeah. so one more question did you want to close with the Cathajo de Pedra I remembered the title I don't believe it I'm not yeah yeah you're I talking remember. very well. Huh? Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. One more question here is, uh, let me see, I got three good ones here. Uh, do you want to improve as a musician now or is it always tomorrow? I guess they're talking about procrastination. I think it's everything that we that we have to do, we have to do it today. Although, uh, and, and as I say, um, I don't want to, I don't want to, to get too much things to do at one time because I'm not that kind of guy. I I am not a multitasking guy. I know a lot of guys and a lot of musicians that deal very well. And Fernando, you Fred, <laughs> is one of the examples. Uh, he can do a million a million things at a time. He can be performing at four on Twitch and at five on YouTube and at six he goes to a live concert. And at eight, he is home again to another live stream on TikTok. Wow. I don't have that kind of, of, uh, of strength. I don't have that kind of, uh, of behavior. I, I, I like to leave things very, I am a very um, organized, although I seem disorganized, but I have everything in its place. So I tend to leave uh space to learn of course um and i wish i went to school when i when i was when i was young to learn how to how to know what i do how to learn how to read a score unfortunately i wasn't at school uh but it's never too late who knows in the future but i don't think so i don't think so i think i'm I I will stick with what I what I have. Try to improve it, of course. Uh, but it, it will be an improvement uh, an improvement on my own way. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's the way I see it at least. Yeah, Adriana says we will always be together no matter what, even when things change and encounters are less frequent. No matter how much time passes, our affection is the same. Nothing will change that. And the same here goes to uh, Adriana. Uh, all of you know that that you you are in a very in a very special uh, place of my heart, no matter what. And that's why we keep saying uh, good morning. That's why we keep saying each other uh, have a great weekend. We always say that uh, from time to time. We always say that to each other that's 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 the best part of it we never forgot we never forget and we are always together no matter no matter what that's true your friend your thought says something really really good so music and good people are the best fuel to keep moving forward even in the most difficult moments that's correct indeed, indeed really yeah, that. that that's good yes indeed um, it, 
It was with uh, with these people. I used to I used to say that all these people saved me uh, because I was I was living a hard time uh, without without knowing what to do. And when I when I opened my my lenses uh, in this side of the mirror and saw that incredible community on the other side, I was uh, it was mind blowing. Was was very good, and I I will I will always keep that on my mind and my heart forever. I will never forget it. That's excellent. So one more question, then can we'll get you to play that song as a closer. Who would okay. be your dream duet? My dream duet. I have so many singer and songwriters that I that I admire a lot. A lot of them. Uh, I, but I'm. I must be honest. I simply don't think about it because I think it's something that I will never get. <laughs> yeah, it's probably it's me thinking small, but but uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sh should I do it? <laughs> should I do a duet with a superstar? I don't know if I'm <laughs> if I'm the kind of. Uh, of, of person and, and professional that could be and at that place and 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 uh, deserve the 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 honor. So, but I don't know. There's there's a lot of uh... well, Katarina's. Oops, coming back to life. Yeah, okay, by David Gilmer. But um, coming back to life is I think it's David Gilmore. Yeah. that Katarina wants you to duet with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. So everyone, that's, we're going to end the stream. What we're going to do is we're going to have a wonderful Cavajo de Pedra. Did I pronounce it correctly? That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. So you want to play that one and, um, and we'll end that. And then you can back on and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. See Sounds you in a minute. Great.
de ti só eu sei. Dorme, parte, morre, vai, deixa-te levar. Metade de mim Olho-me ao espelho E já não estás O fogo que me aquece A alma Deixou de arder Um cavalo Página do Bye. 
Página do fim That was gorgeous, man. This was, was the Cavallo, the Pedra. That was Cavallo de Pedra. I'm going to say that to my Portuguese friends. Say, hey, Cavallo guess what? I'm doing a new song. Cavallo de Pedra. Thank like, you so much, Chris. How did you Chris. want to say the perfect <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Let me just get back to the... Yeah, the sure. Place. Just a second. Thank you, Adriano. Thank you so much, Nuno, Christina says. You're welcome, Christina. Good night. See you, Adriana. Thank you very much. Here I am. Here you are. Okay, Nuno, I'm going to post some. I'm messages. frozen. Oh, yeah. I think I'm frozen, uh, so... Yeah, well, I'm going to just... show some of uh, these messages from the folk. Katerina says, thank you so much to me. And then, but this one is important. Thank you so much, Nuno. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's so good. It was so good to see you all. And uh, I think you are not... Okay, let's... let's... I will go back to, to where I was. Uh, okay, no problem. At least, at least people can, can. Yeah, that's better that you do yeah. that because you're just totally frozen there now. I just didn't want you to miss, miss these messages from these kind people. Like Adriana says, thank you, Nuno. At least I can, I can see you. <laughs> you can see me. I don't know what happened there. Like it's frozen there, but it's not. Yeah, frozen here, so. yeah, it's fr it's frozen. It's uh, it's the it's the the one of the cameras, the the, the camera that I have uh, for to speak. Uh, it's frozen. I don't know why. It has what? his own yeah. rights. What a beautiful song. Um, Every, take care, uh, Snowden, Be kind. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you so very much, uh, Chris. For you're very welcome. Hours. Um, I really appreciate it, you being on the stage with everyone, and thank you for bringing all your friends with you, and that was awesome. Like, I yeah, I appreciate it very much. Uh, first, I would like to thank you so much, Chris. I was uh, very honored to be a part of this uh, podcast. You're welcome. And, um, and, uh, and I'm honored to be here. It's, uh, one of, it's, it's great to, to, to be one of the chosen ones. Um, and uh, I would like to thank uh, so much to all my family, to all my friends thank that you. that came up uh, to this podcast uh, with all their kindness, with all their love, uh, showing as every time their incredible support and Thanks. and their love. Uh, thank you so so very much, my dear small room family. Thank you yeah. so very much. Thank you, Amanda. Nu Nuno, but make sure to shine a light on Nuno, not myself. <laughs> this is a platform. Yeah, th this. Yeah, but th this was this was indeed uh, a different thing. And all the people that are that that know me that 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 are uh, from the small room. Let me just get something here. This was actually sent by one of. Uh, one of the friends of the small room. It was sent oh. by by Amanda. It's it's the small room logo. Wow. And it's and it's a part of the small room. So it's uh, and uh, but this this was actually the first time that they saw me like this, uh, speaking more than 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 performing, and it was a very very special thing. I enjoyed 
because it's uh, it's it was very different from from what I am used to. Apologies, because English is not my native uh, language. I tried my best not to not to embarrass uh, the ones who love me. <laughs> so, uh, but it was indeed an honor uh, sharing this little bit with you, Chris, Thanks. and uh, and with our family. The, yeah, uh, and the I incredible know, small room. I'm part of small group too, the small room, and uh, Katarina calls it the small room gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the small room. Yeah. yeah, but I wanted to make sure that you know, guests and we want to perform musicians. They actually can do it on my platform and and give them that access. And I hope I can get more performances on here. And yeah, I'm here for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Again well, and again, it no. was it was an honor. It was a pleasure. And, Thank you uh, very much. So, blessings to you. Thank you. Blessings to you. And I definitely hope to see you online and, and um, be part of that s small room. And, and don't worry, you haven't seen them last You're week. invited. You're Thanks. invited. Appreciate that. Okay, everyone, we're going to close the stream. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye, everyone. Love you. Much love to each and every one of you, my friends. Love you all, Thank guys. You. And just wait before, after we end the stream, I want to talk to you for a minute. Okay. See you, everyone. See you, guys. See you next time.